with the tabling of this 11 Malaysia plan, uh, a national transportation plan uh, has a very clear uh, path. Uh, uh, we, we have set a clear path, a clear direction for our national transportation. Uh, as we can, as I mentioned just now, uh, with the setting up the aviation commission and also with the setting up of the National Logistic Task Force. Uh, these are the two important areas that are uh, uh, within the 11 Malaysia plan. So I also want to emphasize that uh, under Aviation Commission, uh, it covers a wide range of activities. Uh, it is under Ministry of Transport and uh, it, it monitors the uh, airport tax, monitor the uh, slot and uh, air routes. It also allocates uh, what they call uh, 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 these uh, airport, uh, uh, what they call airline licenses, uh, as well as forwarding, forwarding licenses, including uh, consumer protections, and there are wide range of activities. So uh, with this setting up the commission, we are giving uh, the Minister of Transport with a bigger capacity, uh, a bigger role to play to strengthen the aviation industry. So we welcome this and we hope that this will uh, uh, pro uh, pro what we call to push the country economy forward. On the National Logistic uh, Task Force, uh, I would like to announce that under the Ministry of Transport, we have set up a special department a uh, special section to take care of the, our logistic industry. As you can see now, uh, Malaysia logistic industry uh, still uh, uh, in a growing stage and uh, we need to be more organized and we are prepared uh, to ensure that uh, Malaysia will continue to grow from number 20 now to be uh, top 10 uh, before the year 2020. So the next five years is a crucial year for our logistic industry and we hope that we can continue to grow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You.